Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Maria Kunitz and look at her contributions to astronomy. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And here we see a monument to her. Uh, she was born, well, it's questionable. We don't know exactly when, around 1610 and died in 1664. And she was born in Poland. Now her husband was a physician and an astronomer as well. And again, we see that back at this time, a lot of sciences overlapped. Now what she is best known for is publication of what is called Urania Propitia. And that is a work that she actually self published. And that unfortunately means that it also was not well known. Why? because as it was self published, only a few copies were made. However, it was a work that concluded tables to determine the positions of the planets. And here we see the cover page of that work here and with her uh, name Latinized here in the uh, as the author of the work. Now it was again tables to predict the positions of planets. Now this was well known at the time and in fact what she did specifically was to improve the methods that were used by Johannes Kepler. Kepler previous to this had developed laws of planetary motion and better ways to be able to predict where a planet would be than the earlier methods that were based on a geocentric universe. So now we had a heliocentric universe or sun centered. And Maria was able to improve these methods and to simplify them. And of course, that's always a big thing in science is that we want the simplest explanation that can explain how things work. Generally, the simplest explanation turns out to be the one that is true. So here we see some of that work and it really uh, what her work did was inspired others to really consider a couple of things simplicity and accuracy. So we really want both of these two things in any uh, scientific theory in scientific calculations. We want them to be as, as simple as possible as long as they can still accurately explain the observations that were made. So here building on the work that Johannes Kepler had done a few decades before in giving us his laws of planetary motion, Maria was able to then simplify and give us improved methods for being able to determine the positions of the planets, which was something very, very important at the time. So let's go ahead and finish up here with our summary and what we've looked at now is that Maria Kunitz was born in what is now Poland in the early 1600s. She published the Urania Propitia, which was, was a set of tables to calculate positions of the planets in the sky. And she corrected errors and simplified the methods that had been used by Kepler just a couple of decades before. So that concludes this lecture on Maria Kunitz. We'll be back again next week to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.